My name is Jennifer Swanson. Um, I'm excited to be launching two books this year. Um, my first one is Beastly Bionics, uh, Rad Robots, Brilliant Biomimicry and Incredible Inventions Inspired by Nature. This book is for kids who love nature and robots. Um, I tell teachers and kids that this is great to go get outside and get inventing. So go outside, take a look around at some animals or plants and think of the cool characteristics that this animal might have that could be turned into a robot or something to help humans. This book is by National Geographic Kids, so it has tons of great photos and takes a really close look at cutting edge technology of biomimicry. The other book that I had out this year is Everything to Ace Chemistry in One Big Fat Notebook. I'm thrilled to be a part of Workman Publishing's Big Fat Notebook series, which is award-winning and has sold millions of copies. This is the uh, one of the first books in the high school version. So if you have a kid who is taking chemistry or you just wanna learn a little more about chemistry yourself, this is a great book for you. It's fun. It has some really cool pictures inside and graphics to make chemistry exciting and interesting as you learn. This book is a great supplement to your textbook. So I hope you have a great year. Thank you so much for taking a look at my books. You can find me on jenniferswansonbooks.com. Go science! Poop, doo-doo, feces, Whatever you call it, the stuff is disgusting, but it's also packed with potential. Hi, I'm Heather L. Montgomery, and I am launching Who Gives a Poop? Surprising Science from one end to the other. Who would write a book about poop? Well, let me give you a bit from the introduction of the book to give you my perspective. Okay, I'll admit it. I've always been partial to poop. One of my favorite smells is horse manure. Weird, right? But every time I inhale that grassy goodness, I'm instantly back at horse camp. A velvety muzzle tickling my cheek. I want that connection with every creature. What if every time I stepped up to scat, I could feel as if I were beside that bear, bobcat or beetle, hunched and helpless at a moment of vulnerability, pausing to make a deposit? And what, in the end, is an animal actually depositing? As I dug into this topic, I discovered mounds more than leftover food. Like a trip down the slippery slide of a digestive tract, questions took me into kinks and curves, places I never would have expected or ever thought I wanted to go. And that's the thing about research. When you dig into a topic, something you're curious about, you never know where it will take you. Like a good writer, I had an outline when I started to write this book, but research didn't let me stop there. No, it took me into places I, places I couldn't even fathom. Things that made me question my very own understanding of right. And that's the power of research and writing. You never know where it's gonna take you. And I hope you have the courage to follow your questions. I want to say thank you to Southern Breeze SCBWI. Members helped me so much with this book. Whether you listened to one of my poopy stories or you told your own story, or maybe you helped me with this title. It's thanks so much to you for making this book a reality.